This video is supported in part by Retro Days, a place for nostalgia nerds to gather, share memories, chat, and engage. Go to RetroDays.com or check their YouTube channel linked below. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John, I am a Gen X Grown Up. Thank you for clicking through to check out this video. Over the last few years, I've been enjoying collecting these little tabletop arcade machines you see behind me. From the likes of Basic Fun and My Arcade and Super Impulse and whoever's putting them out. I've just really enjoyed collecting them. But they've really slowed their releases lately. There's been nothing really new since that Street Fighter came out from My Arcade a few months ago and nothing new has been announced. So I've been going back picking up on the older ones that came out years ago that I never actually added to my collection. And among my favorites is the Microplayer line from My Arcade. Now I have most of those. Some have become more expensive and rarer and harder to find. Others are readily available. In fact, I recently picked up my Bubble Bubble on Amazon. It was easy to pick up. It's still around 25 bucks. I'll throw a link down in the description if you don't yet have it and are interested. But after picking it up, it occurred to me, well, I never had it, so clearly I never did a review. I wonder if any of our viewers would be interested in checking out a review for Bubble Bobble. And it turns out there were one or two or three or four. Or, okay, yeah, there, there were a lot who wanted to see this Bubble Bobble reviewed. So this is for the viewers. We're going to do it right now. Don't you know that you're a grown up? No gates, no punts. Not a lot of you are grown up. Welcome to my collection, little Bubble Bobble. Still factory sealed. We're going to fix that in a second. We've looked at so many of these, my arcade machines. But this one in particular is really nice and vibrant. Look at that Bubble Bobble artwork on the side. I don't mean just the cabinet. I mean the box. This has some great shelf appeal. Uh, as always, we've got the game logo across the top and some game history uh, on the side. But uh, yeah, let's get this thing open. Now, naturally, inside we have this little catalog and instructions. We never need those. But let's turn our attention, though, to this really nice Bubble Bobble Micro Player. I never get tired of talking about how much I like the design of these My Arcade units, especially their artwork. And not only is this one no exception, it's kind of a standout. It's really gorgeous. I mean, the vibrant colors on there, this high quality glossy decal. Yeah, that is a nice, nice piece. Well, if I'm going to rave about the cabinet, let me justify my love. Let's do a quick tour of the device itself. Around back, we have this headphone jack and volume up and down buttons. Speaker is located just below that on the back. Below that is the battery door. No batteries are included. It takes four double A's, or you can come right below that and power it with a micro USB 5 volt in. Around front, starting at the top, we have that bubble bobble marquee. Not lighted marquee on these My Arcades, we're aware of that. I like that the design actually continues all the way up into the top of the cabinet with these decals. And of course, we have the screen that's surrounded by a pretty arcade accurate-ish bezel. Another decal continues across the front of the control deck. And then down here on the knee board, you have both Bob and Bub and the coin door, which actually is the power switch. And all this is topped off with a nicely designed control deck. You have the reset and start here, uh, both a bubble and jump button. Of course, that's what you need for bubble bobble. And the same kind of micro arcade uh, D-pad with a bat top joystick screwed in. But now it's time to get this screenshot decal off, put some batteries in it and see how she plays. Hey, hi, bubble bobble. Oh yeah, almost certainly the NES version. Let's give it a start. Okay, but a little watered down. You remember two-player mode would be selectable here, but it's not. All right, well, let's give it a start. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, of course, it's NES gameplay, so if you like this on the NES... I think you're going to be tickled. Now, I was never fond of the NES version myself, just because, just limited palette. The music is not quite as uh, robust, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. I mean, you can hear for yourself. Here's the difference between the NES and the arcade versions. And Bubble Bobble is one of those titles that there's so much more than just a couple of screens. I think there's, I don't know, 70, 80, 100 screens? I don't know. I mean, NES had all of them, I believe. 
So there's a lot to do in this game. The ability to continue later with codes, I mean, all that is nice to have in a little tabletop unit to go back to again and again. Because you want to play this in little bursts and be able to continue and pick it up where you left off. That's nice. And speaking of which, I want to try out that continue. Alright, come on, take my last guy. Alright, there you go. B F F F B. So you can pick it up from there. So if we try continue. So you continue from the level that you recently were on, but I'm guessing if it's been off, let's see. Yeah, so the continue only works that way, but if we come down, I think, to the password, and say start, and there we go. So we can enter our code. There's our BFFB, give it a shot. Now we can continue to level six, so there's the code. Yeah, that's definitely a nice, that's not anything that really ever existed in any of the other My Arcade units. But it's because it never really existed in the other games. They didn't have that kind of progression. So yeah, I mean, this is, it's Bubble Bobble. And as, as a tabletop game that you could play again and again, it has a lot more to offer than many of the little My Arcade micro players. So if you're looking to dig in on Bubble Bobble and play it as a long form adventure, uh, I think this is going to scratch that itch. If I'm being perfectly honest with myself, I think this little Bubble Bobble exceeded my expectations. So Bubble Bobble was an arcade title that came out in 1986. By 1986, I was already years old, and maybe I was onto computers or some other things, so it wasn't a game that I played growing up, but rather one that was added to the arcade later. I never realized until preparing for this review how much depth there is in Bubble Bobble. That level progression, all that sort of thing. This little unit, as we saw, is the NES, pared back a little bit, no two-player support, though it does have the passwords and the continues. For my money, this Bubble Bobble is a better value proposition then than even some of the better known arcade titles like your Pac-Mans and your Galagas because it has that constant progression. You can turn it off, come back to it days or weeks later, put in that code, and continue from level 10, 20, 30, 40, wherever you left off. That makes this an ongoing toy and adventure that isn't the same thing every time you sit down to play it. You probably already know I'm a huge fan of the My Arcade form factor. I love that chunkier design. There's more room for that gorgeous arcade artwork. And even though this is an NES ROM, I'm not going to hold it against this unit too harshly. Yeah, having found a newfound love for Bubble Bobble, I would love for it to be the arcade version, but I think probably most people, since this came out in 86, after the existence of the NES, most people played it on the NES, and that's probably what many people want. So that's likely what it should be for the mass market. I think this little Bubble Bobble is a great addition to any collection, whether you are a fan of it originally or you're just discovering it kind of for the first time now. I'm gonna give this My Arcade Bubble Bobble Micro Player three and three quarter tokens out of five. Plays great, and that password system that allows for constant ongoing progression through the game means it's not gonna be the same thing every time you choose to pick it up and play it. Hey, I really hope you found something to enjoy in this video, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, you made it to the end. If you liked this video, the best way to say thanks is to watch one more. Here are a couple suggestions that you just might enjoy. And if you love our content, maybe consider becoming a Patreon supporter by following the link on screen. Unacceptable for grown-ups. Your dinner cannot just be french fries.